Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be doing more of our leaf green Nuzlocke. Welcome in Kitty. I see you with the first today. Congratulations. I guess, um, I guess Koneko was busy. I don't know if we see them pop in, we'll have to say hi, but maybe they're actually busy. I know it's like, it's super late for them. So I'm always like so excited that they're even here in the Thursday stream. But Kitty, how are you doing today? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. All right. We don't really have any like announcements or anything to really talk about today. So we are going to jump right into our quiz. All right. Give you the link. Kitty, you have to do it with me. Here we go. Tell me what you get if you do it. So boom, we're going to judge our taste in some anime men. We're going we're gonna to see some judgy taste and some anime boys. I'm happy this evening time too, Kitty. Oh my gosh, and tomorrow's Friday, so it's 48-hour Friday. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. It says, if you don't recognize anyone in the question, then pick based on vibes. Koneko! Koneko! Oh my god, shame on Twitch. Why wouldn't it notify you when you're here every time? You would think, like, that's the thing that, like, makes sure that Twitch sends the notification. Whatever, this is why I make sure there's the notifications in Discord, because I don't trust Twitch and YouTube to do notifications even if you turn them on. It's silly. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do um, we're gonna do this anime men quiz. Okay. Pick a guy who is a brother. Well, I have to go with the brother, bigger younger brother, Alphonse Elric, of course. Like brother. Twitch has been throwing fits at me lately. Oh gross. It needs to stop that. Okay, pick a guy who you would waterboard if given the opportunity. Oh boy, oh boy. So I have to tell you guys, I have never watched um, My Hero Academia. I see there's a My Hero character on here. Never watched that show. I don't know anything about it except for everybody ships Bakugo and the aunties hate Bakugo. That's literally the extent of my knowledge about, um, about uh, My Hero Academia. The blonde haired and then the main green hair kid. Everybody ships those and the aunties think it's one of those awful ships. Whatever. Anyway, my um, answer is Salt J. Kimbley. I would definitely waterboard Kimbley. Okay. Pick a sword guy. Oh, these are some good sword guys, you guys. These are some good sword guys. Do I pick Dante or do I pick Guts? Mm. We have to go with Guts. We have to go with Guts. I mean... Yeah, we have to go with guts. Okay. Pick a stupid guy. Oh, I love that Naruto's on here. That's great. Oh, but Mugen's on here. This one. Okay, everybody ships the the green hair main character with this guy right here. Okay. Mugen, I think. I think that's our best stupid guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pick a glasses guy. Pick a... What's wrong with this picture, you guys? What's wrong with this picture? Where is Kyoya? Okay. Where is the glasses guy, Kyoya Otari? This is Oron Erasure. If I don't see Oron on this quiz, I have some questions for the quiz maker. Okay. You can't make an anime guy quiz and not have Oron boys on there. Okay. 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 Um... I don't, I don't really like any of these choices. I don't really like any of these choices. Bash, I guess. Bash the Stampede. Did y'all know that Trigun actually was wildly unpopular in Japan, but then everyone in the U.S. liked it? Um, interesting. Interesting that happened to that anime. All right, pick a long hair guy. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got Kurama. Okay, that's who we have to go with. We have to go with Kurama. There we go. I must pick even as based off vibes, vibes I'll pick somebody else. <laughs> I hear you. Um, oh my god, my old anime crush. Okay, who is your old anime crush, Koneko? Please, I must know. I will share any anime crushes that I see on this quiz with you. Uh, pick a guy not from anime. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I have to choose between Darcy and Hannibal? I can't believe they put Jesus on here. I can't believe they put Jesus on here. Anyway, Hannibal. Pick a guy who would you would pay to go to therapy. Ah! <laughs> I didn't even have to read the last one. Light. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I'll tell you when you get to the question. Okay. 
These have been tough. Some of these are a little bit tough. It's true. I'm not going to lie. It's question 12. Okay. Well, I'm on nine right now. Pick an old guy. Oh, King Bradley, obviously. That's the old guy. Duh. Pick a Dilf. I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these. Okay, we're going to pick based on vibes. This guy looks real broken inside, so we're going to go with him. Pick a guy who's been through a lot. You just want to bundle up in a blanket and look after them on cold weather days and feed hot soup. Uh, Scar. Whoa. Oh, Kaiman is on here. No, but Scar. Yeah, 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 Scar. Question 12. Oh, there we go. There's my boy. There's my boy. Okay. Uh, pick a guy who's just playing devil's advocate here. Oh, yes. Okay. I see why he wasn't on the glasses one. Obviously, he has to be here. Yes, I pick him. I'm sad that means I don't get to pick um, Akio or L, but, you know, it is what it is. First anime quest. Oh, this guy? You were in a... You, what? You are a cypher apologist? Wow, Koneko. That's some taste. Like, I have to tell you, um, Uki deserved better. I mean, Koneko, all the best people have good taste, and you have good taste. I'm just saying. Oh, Iza is on here, too. Oh, man. I like all these guys. I like all these guys. Man, can I pick all of them? I just really like anime assholes, y'all. Okay, anyway. Pick a guy you would objectify. She's whoa. She's whoa. Let's see who else is on here. Kakashi, that's a good choice. Um, Grimjow, good choice. Sigma Klim, I don't know who that is. Um, in hindsight, are we really surprised? <laughs> for considering I fell for Bat Boy. No, we're not surprised, Koneko. We're not surprised. But it's a good choice. It's a good choice. She's whoa. She's whoa. Okay. That's a good show. Do rah rah rah. Pick a guy who's just a little guy. They're just a little guy. No, it's also their birthday. They're a little birthday boy. What? Okay, none. I never go for this type of guy, like, ever. So we're just going to represent um, our, our best anime or on High School Host Club. And we're going to go with Honey. Even though definitely when I rank the Oron boys, Honey is, you know, Honey is bottom tier. Okay, sorry. But I'm shh. Okay, anyway. Pick a wife guy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Tamaki. Tamaki's not a wife guy. Tamaki's an asshole. Anyway, we're going with Maze. Maze Hughes. Best wife guy in Animu. A war criminal. Oh no. Oh no, I love all of these. Oh no. Uh, Roy, I guess, because he can fire. You know, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So... Okay. Pick a guy with ultimate swag, super hella swag, alicious, sexy, hella dopeness. What? Oh, Spike's on here. There we go. Oh, but Wolfwood's on here. Oh, and Alucard's on here. Mm. This quiz is judging me. It is not my fault. My type TM is not here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'll have to see what I get. I'm at 17 out of 20. I'm almost done. We're, stay we're sticking with Spike. We're sticking with Spike. Although Wolfwood is a good choice. Alucard's a good choice, but we're sticking with Spike. You failed. Your vibes are rancid and it's your fault. Well, it does say it's going to judge you. Pick a guy who's swagless. Wow. Absolute bombs laid on Shinji. Okay. Um, Shinji, like Shinji tried really hard. Okay, Shinji tried really hard. You wouldn't have been able to get in the robot either. I'm just saying. But anyway, we're going with Shinji because he's the one I know the most, recognize the most from these. Pick a guy who's very gender. <gasps> yes. 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 Tuxedo Mask is so gender. Okay, second, close second choice, Griffith. Close second choice, Griffith. Lastly, pick a woman. Oh, okay, so we've got Orihime, Sakura, Shirley, or Lucy. Lucy! Um... Sakura, I guess. I don't really identify. This are, these aren't the women I would be interested in, in animus. So, yeah, I mean, Lucy's fine. Like, I don't, all of these are fine. Like, these choices are just, they're just fine to me. They're not, they're not the animu women I'm interested in. Okay, anyways, let's go. Oh, I got you. <laughs> you emo bitch, you need help for real. There's something wrong with you. But I just have taste. 
okay, quiz, I just have taste. That, if that's a crime, you know, handcuff me. I'm just saying, I have taste. Okay, what are the other possible results? That you pass, you've never felt the touch of another person. It could have been worse, you guys. Instead of you failed, you could have got you've never felt the touch of another person. This seems like the worst answer to me. And then I got you, emo bitch. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? How do you even pass this? Half the people pass this? How? Do they have no taste? Do they have no taste? Like, how do half the people pass this? I don't understand. I just realized it recently and just stared ahead for a second. <laughs> Antagonists, but is it really their fault? No, it's not. Because they were just written that way. Okay, we're going to we use the Lola Bunny defense, right? I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Right? Yeah. I'm going to make Mr. Kitty take it. You do it. You do it, Kitty. This was a good quiz. This was a good quiz. I like it. There is also a, um anime women version of the same quiz by the same person. So I think next week we're going we're gonna to do the lady one. We're going to do the lady one next week. I manifested a Karen stream by looking at her YouTube. Oh yeah, Blue, it's all for you. The stream, the stream went live because of you. I felt your vibes through the tubes, okay? Your vibes got through the lolcats, through the memes, through the tweets. They made their way to me. We went live. That's what happened. That's what happened. Okay. Here we go, you guys. It's time to Pokemon. Pokemon. Let's unpause the game. I literally haven't done anything in between. I haven't done any kind of leveling up or anything. Everybody is still in the exact spot where we left them. So, you know, that's what's up. So, there we go. Everybody's everybody's here. Everybody's here. Uh, the level cap is 47. We're going to go through the Seafoam Islands. Okay? So, that's what's up. Um, let's see. That's what I meant, Jessica Rabbit. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue. I can't talk. I'm just saying. I'm just here vibing, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. They're not bad. They're just drawn that way. How's the volume levels, by the way? Is the game loud enough? Am, am I loud enough? Does one sound too loud, quiet versus the other? Y'all let me know. They're antagonists because of circumstances. Of course. That's what anime taught me. Bad people are just doing their best in the system that they were born into. They're not really bad. Don't hear the game. Okay. I was afraid of that. Let me turn that shit up. Okay. I might have turned it up too loud, but y'all tell me. No, we're gonna punch him again. My connection's bad, so I can't really judge on that regard. Oh. <laughs> well, it was good enough to reach me. Okay. Thank you, Koneko. I appreciate you. Oh, that's not gonna do nothing, Shelter. That's not gonna do nothing. Gate might be a tiny bit loud now. Okay. We're gonna get this right. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay. Looking visually at it, that looks right to me. That looks more right. Sound effects are a little loud, okay. That should be good. Protect? What? That's so rude. Shadow Punch. Wonderful. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we defeated. After discussions about a 4 decided I'm not gonna watch in case the tick is too powerful on screen. Blue is real powerful. It's real powerful, so, you know, if you don't want to see it, at least now you've been warned and you know. Um... I mean, not everybody can handle a, a big, strong, thick cock. Only some people are built this way. So, you know, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I understand. We all have our limits. <laughs> uh, next word, next uh, was gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit before we have another one of those kind of like podcasty streams like that. But the next one is gonna be our next. Harry Potter installment, which is the sixth? sixth book? I think we're on the sixth book. I need to start reading it. We might be on the fifth book. I can't remember. I can't remember. I need to start reading it, whatever it, one it is that we're on. I know we've read at least the first four books. I just can't remember if we're on the fifth or sixth book. 
Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I meant to hit no. We're gonna keep using teeth fuzz. Um, let me check. What are we on? What are we on? We are on... We are on Half-Blood Prince. Okay, yeah, so we're on the sixth book. So that'll be at the beginning of June, if all goes to plan. We'll be doing the sixth Harry Potter book at the beginning of June. Them sites be gay, yo. <laughs> Did I say that? Is that the is that the quote? I don't remember. Y'all, I just say the first thing that comes to my, my head. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes, I would like to surf. We're going to catch a tentacle probably when we go surfing. I look at the sea and forget all the bad things that happen. Me too, man. Me too. I love the warm embrace of the sea. I gotta love how you can apparently capture every fanfiction site ever. I mean, I'm the expert. I'm the expert. I've read every fanfic there is in the whole world. <laughs> I've read every fanfic there is in the whole world. Um, the, the truth blue. So here's the truth. Like, it's kind of a joke. Um, I do think that, uh, LGBT, you know, um, gay stuff, um, kinky stuff, polyamorous stuff, you know, all of those things that are not your typical relationship that you think of is, um, more, is more represented in fanfic, but the overwhelming majority of fanfic is still het. Okay, it is still het. I'm not, I'm not, the only reason the Euphoria VODs um, that I just kind of remove them off of Twitch and then put them on YouTube is because there's just so much going on in those. There's just like so much going on in those and um, you know, and I and the music, t Twitch doesn't like the music in the front, which I cut that out of the one that goes on YouTube. You know, it's just like, it's just like so much. Oh, he's only level 10. Okay, so maybe I can just throw a Pokeball. Okay, well, yeah, let's just throw a Pokeball. I think I can just catch him if he's level 10. We might lose the tentacle, you guys. We'll see. Oh, nope. Good job. But yeah, I never I never really delete the, the gaming VODs. I mean, eventually they expire off of Twitch, you know, and you have to go find them on YouTube, but I don't really delete those. I just delete um, the spicy stuff. I don't want to mess up my reputation with Twitch. They're kind of, like, really picky. Okay, let's mute this so that it doesn't talk to us. And we're gonna go look at, we're gonna go get a name. Let's go look at the name queue. Okay, in the Pokemon name queue, we have, we have Dr. Lumps. That's the only one we have. Okay, so Tentacool is getting Dr. Lumps. If you guys have ideas for Pokemon names, our queue is now empty. And I would love to um, have some more names in there because we are gonna probably catch a couple more Pokemon this particular time. Can I do? Yes, space. Okay. We're going to capitalize the L. U M P S. Kitty! We can definitely name a Pokemon Kitty. Okay. Yes. You pass for now. Tastes are subject to change. Don't let it get in your head, though. You still like anime Lamo. <laughs> Mr. Kitty passed. Wow. I didn't know. I didn't know um, that this was possible, but congratulations, Mr. Kitty. I guess your tastes are acceptable to the quiz maker. Um, but from where I'm sitting, everyone that has taste either failed or is an emo bitch. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's where the funny quote is. Well, Blue, you tell me when you um, when you have a chance to go grab it and maybe I'll republish it again. Cause I just hit it. Like I just hit it to make sure that like Twitch's bots or whatever don't come for me. Cause it's not like YouTube, it's 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 live. So it's not like YouTube where I can just go back and like edit out a specific piece if YouTube decides they don't like something about a video, you know? So it's a little bit different. The quiz. So at the beginning, at the very beginning, as people are coming in to my Thursday streams, we do a little quiz and today, and today we did judging your taste in anime men. So you can go fill that out and then tell us if you passed for your taste in anime men. God, rude protect. Okay, let's try this again. 
Oh my god, stop protecting, Shelter. I just want to kill you, that's all. Is that so much to ask? Is that really so much to ask? Thank god it failed. Goodbye, Shelter. This is a very judgmental quiz, but like all quizzes, I crave their validation. <laughs> well, you'll have to go review his answers, Kitty, and see how, how in the heck and heck he passed. Because I feel like I have excellent taste, I made good choices, and I got emo bitch, which I'm not saying that's not accurate. But I think I also passed. <gasps> Blue! Blue. Blue, this is why you're my new best friend. This is why you're my new best friend. Oran High School Host Club is literally one of the best animes ever. I love Oran High School Host Club. It's amazing. Okay, Kyoya forever. We stan. We stan our problematic King Kyoya. Um, he's the best. Best boy. Forever. I watched him taking it, I don't understand. <laughs> Me either, kitty. Yeah, Blue, you're a cool kid. Yeah, of course. What's beyond the horizon? Well, we don't know because the game doesn't let us go there. Yeah, of course, Blue. Of course you're cool. Well, I only have four shadow punches left. That's not good. Dub is only reason people watch that show. Um, you're right. I actually did watch it uh, when the dub came out. I never, I, I hadn't watched the Japanese one until way later. Yes, exactly. And that was before um, Vic, Vic Men, Meningitis, whatever his last name is, however you say it, before he was canceled. I mean, he was kind of like a shady dude always, and like you should never be alone with him. And I knew that, but I never really knew like the extent of his BS. I used to go to Dragon Con a lot, by the way, and he, that's where he would go. He would go to Dragon Con. That was one of the conventions he would go to. And so he came, and he was promoting or the Oran High School Host Club dub that was coming out really soon after that. And um, and that's where I learned about it, and I watched it. Um, and I have met him a couple times, and he's he's cool um, in person, but I was never alone with him. And um, I don't know, Blue, uh, no justice, no justice, because I had heard rumors like, in the Oran High School host club days and before that, that he was not somebody you were to be alone with. He was not somebody you were to be alone with, and so I never was. Um, but there's always been, there's always been some, uh, you know, some nonsense surrounding him. Welcome in, Kay, welcome in. We're talking about Oran High School host club. As the be one of the best animes ever, ever. Have you seen Oran High School host club? I'm here to, here, I'm here to bring the good word of Oran High School host club. Uh, let's see. You haven't? Oh my gosh. Well, I have to tell you, certain things about it did not age well. Uh, however, <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> also sounds like someone's sus. Well, we're talking about, I was mentioning some old drama in the animu community with a particular voice actor. Um, also, I like Oran, because sure, it's a commentary. Exactly, it is. It's, um, it's a reverse harem. But so, but much of it comments on the state. Oh, I remember what I was doing in there. Comments on like the state of a uh, harem and reverse harem and different things inside those genres that uh, that touch it and stuff like that. It's really good. It's really good. It's a classic for a reason. Do I not have any? I don't have anything to restore. Oh no, I do. I have an ether. All right, we're gonna restore his shadow punch. Shadow Punch. Would you and Landon do an Amber Heard JD podcast one day? I'd love to hear y'all's takes. Probably not, just because, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but I like to talk about things not as, like, individual people, but more as, like, an overall thing. Like, you know when we had the, the podcast that was, like, um... Why do women like to fight all the time? <laughs> uh, why do women like to, to fight each other all the time? And like, why is that entertaining? And we used a bunch of examples, you know, but it wasn't really like about those people. And I feel like the Amber Heard JD situation is very like personal to those two individuals. Like, I don't know how I could talk about that in a broader context. So we probably wouldn't do that. Oh no, he put me to sleep. Okay, wake up. I have some awakenings, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. Wake up, teeth fuzz. Um, so probably not. 
Um, but I can give you, like, my Amber Heard, Johnny Depp take. Like, I honestly believe Johnny Depp in this case. I don't believe Amber, mostly because Amber Heard, on record, has an ex that basically confirms that she be like that. And, you know, when, uh, and I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying that, like, two people is, <laughs> is necessarily enough to, uh, to be sure, but it's one more person than Johnny has. Johnny Depp doesn't have anybody saying that they've been with him before and he kind of liked that, you know, and Amber Heard does. So, I mean, all I have is the evidence that I have. All I have is the evidence that I have and that's the evidence that I have, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think, let's see. But I do want to have Shadow Ball. Flicks damage matching the user's level. Spite. That's PP. That confuses. But do I really need... I don't need Shadow Punch and Shadow Ball, do I? This one's 15. Um, it cannot be evaded, though. Let's keep it. Let's replace Nightshade. Because matching the user's level, like, I don't know, that's kind of silly. Let's do that. The Lion, the Witch, and the Audacity of this bitch. Oh, wait, what else did she say? Um, I'd say the topic of DV, but that's... To, yeah, I don't know. I And I, I, I feel like I don't have enough knowledge to talk about that. Like, I'm definitely more interested in, like, pop culture and, like, internet phenomenons and stuff like that. And DV kind of is, like, outside of my wheelhouse. Like, that's actually serious. That's not, like, you know, internet drama. Um... So, so yeah, it's just probably, I just probably wouldn't have a lot to add to it that other people haven't already done better, you know? Not to mention she literally told Johnny that he's a man and nobody would believe him. Oh, oh, she was right though, she was right. So you'll hear about Sonic 2 breaking the entirety of April's entire season. I still haven't seen it, I haven't seen it. Um, I didn't watch the first one either, but um, I would like to, I would like to. I gotta get to that someday. I don't know, I'm not super into Sonic, so I just haven't prioritized it. But I do want to watch both of them. I haven't. You know what was kind of, movie was kind of like that that I really, really loved, though? Detective Pikachu? That was a good, good movie. Yeah, I saw. I mean, I've seen, like, it is, like, insanely popular. But you know what? Here's another thing that's kind of on Sonic 2's side with this, is that, um, it's We've all been like discouraged from going to the movies for a long, long, long time because of COVID. And just now, recently, um, you know, people seem to be kind of getting over it, kind of not requiring masks anymore and things like that. People feel, again, like they have permission to go out. And like, what movie is big that's out right now? Sonic. So I think, you know, people are going to that. It's the same thing as how like that, the very first like Spider Man movie that came out. The forever ago, you know, like that the original like trilogy that they did in the in the two thousands, um, that got so popular because like literally there had been no good movies for like a year, and then that came out and it was like half decent, and people just went fucking gaga. Um, I feel like Sonic Two is kind of in that that n little sweet spot in the same way that's like it's just nothing nothing has been available. They weren't making a lot of movies, people were being discouraged from going to the theaters, etc, etc, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, and then Sonic 2 comes out and people are like going freaking bananas. My son's obsessed, I couldn't bring myself to go to theaters to see it. I'll wait for stream. We wait for stream for everything, Kitty. We don't ever go to the theater anymore. We have a nice setup at the house and it's just like, it's so not necessary. It's so expensive, you know what I'm saying? Now Sonic faces his next opponent, the entirety of Higwarts. Oh, Hogwarts. Wait, why? Sonic has to face against secrets of Dumbledore's box office. Oh, no one cares about that movie. No one is going to see that movie. Oh my god. Did y'all watch the second Fantastic Beast movie? It was god-awful. It was, like, awful. So between the awfulness of it and J.K. Rowling's awful, disgusting tweets, nobody's going to see that movie. No one's going to see that movie. <laughs> No one cares. <laughs> so, yeah. That is no competition at all. Sonic beat Morbius. I, I thought most people said Morbius was bad. I haven't seen that either, though. So don't ask me. I don't know. For a game franchise to just slap around an MCU movie like that. I heard people didn't like it, though. Like I heard people were like, this is a crappy MCU movie. Post-credit reveal to rival that of any other MCU reveal. Ooh! 
Blue, I love spoilers. Do y'all mind spoilers? Can can Blue tell me what the um the post credit scene is? Is that gonna upset anybody? I don't want to. I don't want to upset anybody. If that's gonna upset anybody, but like I want the spoilers. If you're on YouTube, pause for a second and <laughs> pause. Skip a few minutes ahead. Skip a few minutes ahead, YouTube people. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. I don't know if I want to say. Not gonna watch it. Hey, Kitty and Koneko say it's okay. Kay is probably just lurking, chilling. I don't know if she's really paying attention. Um, I assume. Uh, Kay, if you are listening, hi. <laughs> hey! Um, Blue's about to give me a spoiler for Sonic, I hope. Talk oh, yummy. Blue's gonna hopefully give me a spoiler in a second if he feels okay to do that. I just want to make sure y'all are chill with it before um, he gives it to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Blue, if you're comfortable, if you're comfortable, tell me. I want to know. I don't care about spoilers, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably won't watch it for a long time. Yeah, me too, Kay, honestly, because I'm not super into Sonic, so, like, maybe if I'm bored one day, like, I would love to watch it, but it's not, like, a priority, you know, so it's gonna be a while before I get to it. Totally possible by the time I get to it, I have totally forgotten. Mm, no, 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 no. Let's do Badger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Badger, 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 Badger. Okay, I'll say, because honestly, the single reveal, the door's wide open for opportunity. Okay. I'm excited, Blue. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Oh my god. I'm bouncing. I must know. <clears throat> I'm just going to destroy everything with psychics. That'll be good. Okay, so this is technically a new route right here. So what we're going to do is when we land on the Seafoam Island, because we should just keep getting um, tentacles, when we land on the Seafoam Island, we are gonna do fish, do a super rod fishing and try to get a slow poke. So at the end of Sonic 2 movie, they reveal the events of a certain Sonic event. Okay, are, you, are we gonna get some lore? Some Sonic lore? Sonic has wild lore. Project Shadow. <gasps> oh, so the next movie is gonna be Shadow? Man, okay, when that movie comes out, I might have to watch the other two Sonic. Shadow is the only thing in Sonic I care a little bit about. Um, you know, I mean, we just did the Anime Man um, quiz. I'm like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And I did get Emo Bitch, so. <laughs> I did get Emo Bitch, so. Uh, I definitely might have to see the Shadow movie. Definitely might have to see the Shadow movie. Honestly, bittersweet victory. Well, of course, yeah, but you have to have a new, give a new adversary. You have to give a new adversary with the with the next movies, you know. Swimmer Anya would like to battle. Sent out Poliwag. I should have bought balls before coming here, because I don't think I have really enough Pokeballs. So we might fight these guys, fly back to the, uh, fly back to the um, town and then do this again. Because of what's happening, honestly, bittersweet victory because of what's happening with Jim Carrey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, my mom and I got off of $50 to make cookies for some little girl who's got a broken foot because she can't go Easter egg hunting. <gasps> oh, poor baby. Oh, I love Easter egg hunting. Yeah, you gotta make her some cute cookies. You know what's good for Easter? Some like fruity cookies like lemon or strawberry or something like that. Oh, that's so nice of you, Kay. I'm so happy for the, the girl. At least she's going to get some good cookies. Don't won't know if Jim's going to actually be represented in a third, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, like, the trailers and a bunch of clips and stuff, and um, he is absolutely an excellent part of the movie. But, yeah, uh, that is really sad. That is really sad to think about. We're making lemon crinkle cookies and a chunky vanilla one that's green and almond flavor. <gasps> Those are perfect for Easter. Lemon and almond and vanilla. Oh my gosh. I love it, Kay. I love it. Um, for Easter, we're going to have a big old ham. We have a big old ham. And um, I'm going to make deviled eggs and lemon squares. That's what I'm going to contribute. And I can't remember what else we're having. Levi's gonna make a whole bunch of stuff, you know, of course. Um, but I'm making deviled eggs and lemon squares. And I know we're having ham. Because we had to rem remember to take it out of 
Excuse me, we had to remember to take it out of the freezer today so it would defrost. Is sad. Sonic could really be stretched so far. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not like they can't recast. I mean, Jim Carrey's a pretty unique cast, but there are other, like, over-the-top comedians I suppose they could do. Like, if the franchise is really that strong, they should be able to recast. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've not seen the movie, so maybe it would be li literally destroy everything if they had a different Eggman, you know? I don't know. I don't know. How is Idris Elba's knuckles in the movie? What did you think? Because I love me some Idris Elba. Love me some Idris Elba. So I'm, I'm down for that. I mean, that was the original reason. Like, when I saw the movie, I was like, oh, I should give this series a try. I should really give this franchise a try. And then, of course, I didn't get around to it. Um, but, uh, but I do, that's what kind of made me interested. Badger? Yes, there you go. Good job. Not a big Shadow fan. Not even a big Shadow fan. I'm a big, I, I like Shadow. That's like one of the things in Sonic that I really like. <clears throat> I enjoyed his performance as Knuckles. Nice. Okay. Good. I do want to see that. I do want to see that. Ah, I, almost. Not quite. There we go. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? No. I can't swim. Sorry. You know, uh, there we go. Didn't really like the approach to Knuckles characterization, but that's just me. What do you mean? Like, tell me. Explain to me your your Sonic movie takes. I like to hear the hot takes. It doesn't matter if they're silly or personal. I just I just enjoy that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Beat him up! Beat him up! All these swimmers are weak. I guess they have to make him that way because technically you could come here and like fight all these guys before you even did. Um, oh, poison point, that's annoying. Before you even did, like, Sabrina or Koga, like, these areas aren't blocked from you the way that other some other areas are. They really did the whole I'm a warrior archetype with Knuckles. Oh, so he was, like, a sword guy? So, like, they did sword guy Knuckles? <clears throat> I don't really care enough about Sonic lore, I guess, to, to have a feeling on the, one way or another on that. Um... Much like Batista from Guardians. Oh my god, but I love Drax. I love Drax. Oh my god. I love him. He's he's uh, well versed in the art of camouflage. He he stands so still you can't see him. Hard headed warrior archetype. Okay. I don't know, that sounds like up my alley, because he is a hundred percent my favorite from Guardians. Alright, let's cure this poison. Mm -mm. Where is it? Gosh, I didn't. I should have stocked up. We're going to have to go back and stock up. There's an antidote. I still have a decent number of those, so that's good. Rocket's the best. Rocket's pretty good. Rocket's pretty good, but Drax is better. Okay, Drax is better. Love Drax. I love his, his literal self. I love his hot-headedness. He's the best. For Knuckles' characterization from the games before they turned him into a dumbass. <laughs> Do you want to go to outer space, puppy? <gasps> oh my god. <clears throat> Y'all are being too funny today. It's making me cry. Uh, let's do a headbutt. Oh, I'm low on both of those. Whew. Yeah, good job flinching. Okay. <laughs> Sarcasm and assholishness. K, isn't that every MCU character? But um, Tish. <clears throat> oh my god. Poison point again. That is so rude. Uh, yes. Let's go to Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Find boom sound. I don't think this is going to do much, but the level difference might mean that it's fine. Rocket's more mean about it. That's true. Rocket is pretty mean about it. Rocket's pretty mean about it. 
But like, every MCU character is like a sarcastic quip machine. I hope they make Knuckles sing in the movie so I can hear Idris singing again. Oh, that would be a treat. That would be a treat. I love him in Cats. <laughs> there ain't much to love about Cats, Kitty, but there is that. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. The face when you realize they could all do interchangeable roles because they all play the same character. True. Well, because they're all from different, um, they're all from different comics, right? And so the intention of those comics, like that, that's a very good type of character to have as your main character for a comic. So it just happens over and over and over, right? But then when you put them all together, you realize that there's like three whole characters in the MCU and that's really it. And 90% of them are just one character. Oh, I need to antidote. Um, oh, but we're at the shore. Oh, not you. We're antidoting Badger. Badger, Badger, Badger. Okay. Now, before we go to this, into the I Seafoam Island, we are going to do um, what we should have done at the start of this stream. But, like, man, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking it was time to beat things up. Mark Ruffalo is Thor. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Thor is Captain America. I love how... Um, Chris Hemsworth doesn't get a name, he's just Thor. RDJ named, Mark Ruffalo named, uh, Chris Hemsworth, just Thor. <laughs> but it's true though, it's true though. Like, what has he done recently besides... I mean, I can't really think of anything. Chris Hemsworth would have to have the New York accent. He could do though, he could. Like, why not? The only other thing I remember him is Cabin in the Woods. True! And he's excellent in Cabin in the Woods. Um, where's the Pokemart here? Is it over here? Where's the Mart? Where's the Mart? Oh, no, wait. It's up here. I think I have to cut. No, I, I think if I walk around. Oops. I didn't mean to go inside there. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods is a great movie. I love it. And I'm very picky with horror movies, but that one is really good. Yeah, here we go. Here's the Pokemart. Cheesy horror spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, like, the whole bedding thing. Like, that bedding scene makes me crack up every time. <laughs> every time. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna get some more Great Balls. Uh, yes. Okay, we're gonna get some more Ultra Balls. I have so much money. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I went into that movie totally blind. I had no idea it was going to be like that. I was just told, this is a horror movie. People seem to... Oh, why am I buying revives? This is a Nuzlocke, Karen. Stop. Um, and then let's buy some full heals. But oh, we have some of those already, but that's okay. Let's get more. Um, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, is there things we can sell? Oh yeah, we have a pearl. We can sell that. Um, we got some rare candies, let's see, escape rope, and do I have any other nuggets or anything? No. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, store quick claw, okay. See ya. Actually, I should probably put some of these items on my Pokemons. Quick claw. Holder may be able to strike first. I'm not- oh, I have to go to my Pokemon to actually put it on there. Oh my god, wrong button, Karen. Let's see, um... Is there anything? Yep, that's fine. Uh, let's give, let's give Lishy the Quick Claw. Is he kind of slow up? Lishy kind of slow up. Didn't know, namely because <laughs> it ain't in the title. Yeah, it's a Nuzlocke. Yes, yes, yes. Aw, see you later, Koneko. I hope you feel better. Yeah, I have it on there sometimes. Um, let's see, what can I give him? 
What is this? Held by a Pokemon, repels wild Pokemon if it's a harder. Okay, we don't need that. Black glasses. Do, do, do. Yeah, I, blue is, blue didn't come, um, didn't find me until a couple weeks ago though, so you don't know. It's okay. You know now, blue. Yes, we're doing a nuzlocke. I had never done one before. This is literally my first nuzlocke ever, ever. So we're having a lot of fun. Sonic 3 trailer. Well, if they've got Knuckles and they've got Shadow, um, that's been like the new characters, right? What are some other Sonic characters? There's um, there's Rogue, the Batgirl. There's um, yeah, um, just recently. There's the Batgirl, Rogue. There's who else? Who else is in Sonic? I don't know. There's Tails. It, Tails is in there already, though. Tails was in the first one, right? Oh my gosh, I can't stop wandering. This way. This is the right way, right? This is how I get out. Yes. Metal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it could be metal. I never had a Sonic phase. Sonic, a lot of kids were into Sonic, but I wasn't. We were in Nintendo house, so, you know. Sega do what Nintendo don't, but I was like, mmm... That's okay with me. I like what Nintendo do. Because <laughs> we got hooked on video games from um, playing the very first Zelda game. Remember, like, the early games that I would watch my dad play and try to help him, although I would fail a lot, was um, the first Zelda and Doom and Myst. We played Myst on stream, too. We played Mist on stream too. That is a good ass game. Got a hot take. It's hot as Super Sonic right now. Tell me, tell me your hot take. All right. Thank you so much for the lurk, Kay. We love our lurkers here. They say Misty of the Cerulean Gem trains here. Oh, well, I don't know why her Pokemon are such low level then. Oh, wait, let's fight this trainer too. Gotta get my daily dose of Philly D. Oh yes, we love some Philly D. I don't know how I would keep up with the news without him. The movie deals are the best thing to happen to Sonic franchise in past decade. I 100% agree. Um, I feel like the world had kind of forgot about Sonic. Sonic had become kind of just like a meme. You know, like I only knew Sonic because of weird memes about Sonic. Um, but I feel like the movies kind of brought him back into like, he's like a mainstream character now that people are really interested in. Yeah, Philip DeFranco. Philip DeFranco, the, new, the news YouTube guy. He's been doing it since, like, YouTube started over a decade ago, basically. Um, has a da daily-ish news show, still. It's, it's pretty good. He's grown a lot. It's been nice. It's been nice watching him grow. Um, there was a period where I didn't watch his show because it got really annoying to me. Sports guy? No, I don't... He doesn't really do sports. But he does have that sports shirt, is that what you mean? He has like that shirt that's like, SPORTS! Um, uh, but he doesn't really <laughs> watch sports. <laughs> okay, there's that item. Oh, I remember this puzzle, I remember this puzzle. You have to like, put the push the boulders into the holes. Oh, here's a slow poke. Well, damn it, I did this wrong. I should have done the fishing and I totally forgot. Well, anyway, we're getting a slow poke out of here, I guess. Oops. Um, let's use an Ultra Ball. I was gonna get a Slowpoke here and then something else before, but I messed up. Alrighty. We got a Slowpoke. So, too busy thinking about... Uh, yes, we're gonna get a nickname. Too busy thinking about making sure I got... Poncho Moof? What's Poncho Moof? Is that a is that a meme? Kitty, I don't know. I've never heard it. Okay. Anyway, that's what we're gonna go with. I like that for a slowpoke, even though I don't know what it means. Yeah, but Philip DeFranco, I kind of stopped watching him for a little bit. Um, this was like years and years and years ago, because a big part, big segment of his show used to be, um, like Hot Girl of the Day or whatever, and it started to annoy me because I just really wanted to see the news. <laughs> Boring, but true. And, um, oh. 
Oh, oh no, kitty. We're gonna... Okay, we can't have a space. It doesn't fit. Punch your mouth. Oh. <laughs> I get it. No space. It's gonna have to be like this. There we go. All right, she, her name is Punchua Mouth. Okay, oh sweet, okay. That's what I decided to do, I'm glad. <clears throat> okay, I messed that up. That's a Pokemon we missed out on since I rolled a Slowpoke here. I should have done the Super Rod to catch it in the other thing, but whatever, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. Oh. So I could have got a Zubat. Finally. <laughs> I was so shocked I didn't get one in Mount Moon. Okay, let's do... I don't need to be doing all these random encounters, especially when I'm pushing the balls around. So we're gonna do... Where's the thing? Oh, we're gonna use a repel. Okay, I think there's a boulder over here, yes. Yes. I want to push the boulder. This she used strength. Is that good water, Riri? If y'all can hear, like, her really loud drinking noises, I apologize. They're kind of gross, but it is what it is. Okay, then we're gonna come over here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do another repel. I had another one. I had, like, a max repel or something. I'll have a bunch of max repels. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad. I moved her water in here to try to help her out. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Alright. Balls are dropped. We've hit puberty. Now time to go down. Do I take... Wait, which one am I supposed to take next? Um... There should be a revive here. Yes, okay. Revive. Okay. Reet, why do you want out? Hang on, she wants out the room. Why? You just got water. What's wrong? Okay. She was looking kind of weird. Um, she was looking kind of weird, and then so I took her outside, so I'm just setting myself a timer so I go get her from outside in a little bit. Found the whole band video, and I was thinking, oh no, band from chat. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, so that's my old content where I used to talk a lot about, um, uh, roleplay help and stuff like that, but I kind of, like, eventually exhausted um, all of the stuff I had to say about that, and so I just kind of moved on to other topics. But yeah, I have a ton of content on my channel about helping people do better with their text-based roleplay. Yes, about being banned from a roleplay. <laughs> I'm glad it, the thumbnail made you click, though, Blue. <laughs> I'm glad the thumbnail made you click. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I think, wait a second. Let me look at my notes. Backtrack and climb, okay. I was baited, I'm glad. That's the point. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, I would say if you're not into text-based role play though, probably what would be better is to go look at my playlists because you'll see like games that I've played a bunch on there. Like I have one that's like nostalgia, like old games. I have Final Fantasy X, that's a long playthrough that I've done. Um, the other Pokemon Nuzlocke videos in the beginning. And then of course, Interstage Window Season 2, which is like other podcasty type things that I've done. So, 
Oh, not that. I want bag. Oh my gosh, stop pressing the wrong button. There we go. Yes, you could go see the um you could go see the other early episodes where we're actually going through the story. Yes, we want to push it. Push it real good. Okay. Yes, and I think I go back up. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, then I have to backtrack again. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm remembering. We have to keep backtracking then push the boulder farther and farther down the hole. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's push this one, then we have to go back. <clears throat> mm. Is this right? Yes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Talking about the dudes and their tastes. <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh, that reminds me of that, like, old, old uh, video. Did you, did you ever watch, like, the videos and stuff on, um, on Newgrounds? Or, um... I guess albino black sheep or like e-bombs world or whatever anyway one of the ones that a friend of mine really really liked was called ass and titties and it was like a song that was like ass titties ass 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 and titties like over and over again on a loop and she would always want to play that stupid video and it would drive me crazy and now that song is in my head for literally the rest of time, forever. <laughs> okay. Is it this way? Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. I feel like I remember hearing that. You probably did, Kitty. Like, you're at the right age where you would have heard that song. Okay, I think, is this... Yeah, I think this is the exit. Alright. So, we can go get Articuno in here, but like... I don't know if I want to do all that. I don't know if I want to do all that. Maybe we'll try to do like a, a legendary bird catch later. Cause I'm just like really scared that Articuno is gonna kill one of my Pokemon since this is a Nuzlocke and we haven't even beat all the gyms yet. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm like not cool with that. So yeah, I think we're not gonna fight Articuno. I remember that song just from other sources. Yes, it was um, it was a meme back in the day. TNA is just a general term for what's guys what guys like. True. <clears throat> I love old internet. I love old internet. Like that one, End of World, Charlie the Unicorn. Um, you know, all of that stuff is just great. It's just great. Love it. Clavicorn navel. <laughs> oh my god, blue, that is so like 2002, I'm gonna scream. Remember in like the early 2000s and mid 2000s when like everyone was freaking obsessed with girls' bellies? Like, I remember, you know, because like, I used to watch TRL, of course, like you do, back in the day, and um, they would have they would have like the celebrities on right and so britney spears comes on after she had gotten like her belly pierced or something like that or maybe it was christina aguilera maybe it wasn't britney spears i don't remember it doesn't matter um and uh and like that was like this there was like this whole bit about show us show us show us show us show us oh my god um and like everybody had crop tops and like it was a whole thing it was a whole thing at that time like everyone was gaga Yes, I would like to surf. Okay, I think it's it's time to go get the dog. I'm gonna run from this. I'm gonna go get the dog. I don't want y'all to have to listen to battle music while I go do that, so we're gonna go back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
You can listen to the ocean music. I'll be right back. Here's Riri. You can see her face since I'm carrying her. Say hi to everybody, Riri. Say hi. She wants me to put her down. She's like, why aren't you putting her down? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Riri. I just wanted everybody to see how cute your old lady face is. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's keep going. Who are you, sir? Yeah, I think we were actually doing monster capturing, like a smash and pass on the monster capturing at that time, kid. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was running around Omega Ruins capturing Monstars. I gotta decide when I want to do more of that game. I don't know. Like, I'm, st I'm starting to th wonder, like, what I want to do after we finish this Nuzlocke. Because um, I don't know. I feel like we're, we're getting pretty close to the end. We're either going to get to a point where um, we are going to be... We're going to lose. <laughs> and so, so ends the Nuzlocke. Or um, we're going to actually beat it. You know, because we've got this gem coming up, then we've got the next gym, and then we've got, um, we've got, uh, what's after that? Uh, no, and then we've got the Elite Four. But we're about to, like, exhaust the trainers and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna, decisions are gonna have to be made. Decisions are gonna have to be made about what we're doing. When is the next Final Fantasy X stream? I do not know. I have to think about it. So what we usually do is do like three Pokemon streams and um, and then we'll take a break and do something else for like one or two streams. And um, everyone wants to do the last part of Doki Doki Literature Club because for Halloween on that stream, I played Doki Doki Literature Club blind. And so I didn't realize after I beat the first act that there was an act two, like I didn't really understand that that was gonna happen. And so we didn't really finish the game. Anyway, I went back and actually figured out how the game works and like beat it completely on my own. But we're gonna go back to that save from the Halloween and um, we're gonna play the that particular, that last part so that everybody can see it. Cause it's, it, it was kind of creeping certain people out and they didn't want to play it on their own. <laughs> so we're gonna go play it. Um, so that's gonna be the next one. And then, so then we'll go do some more Pokemon episodes and then maybe, and then maybe we'll do more Final Fantasy X after that. I don't know. I gotta think about it. But I know that the next non-Pokemon stream is gonna be the Doki Doki Literature Club, the final act of that. Well, act two and act three. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's spark. Oh, that's the other streaming playlist that I have on my YouTube is first impressions. So games where like I kind of played them blindish. So there's like nostalgia, first impressions, Final Fantasy X, and then this game, my my Nuzlocke. But I have to kind of start like brainstorming what I might want to do next, you know? Because I just don't know. Check out my buff physique. Ooh. <clears throat> Can't believe I found someone like Orn on Twitch. Blue. I mean, literally all you need to do is find someone over 30. Everyone over 30 loves Oron. Unless they don't watch anime, then I guess they wouldn't love Oron. 
But like Weeb's over 30, we all seen Oron and we know we know the true effects. You know? I just feel like a lot of people that are streaming are just like they're just younger and so they just don't know, you know. Cuz like let's be real, like Oron didn't age well. It didn't. Um <laughs> it it didn't. So, you know, there's certain elements where you watch it now and you're like, "Oh my gosh. Um I can't believe that's how they translated that." And so uh so yeah. Um I just don't know if the kids would would get it. Kendra! Oh my gosh, Kendra's saying hi with an Eevee. Wow. That's so cute and cool of you. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl, say hi with an Eevee gift. I found that anime because just because I like funny dubs. Understood. I mean, that's that. I mean, that's valid. That's totally valid. Um, Oron's the best. It was a game changer for a reason. Yeah, this can't fly today. Yeah, there's like there's certain parts of Oron where I'm like, oh my god, I cannot believe they translated it like that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like, they didn't have to, you know, they didn't have to. Like, there's certain parts of Oron where it's like, the sub, subtitles, give you a way different impression of what certain characters are saying compared to the, like, localized dub, <laughs> you know? I mean, Jap Japanese is a totally different language, so the different things have different connotations, you know? The twins, how they're written. Oh man, there's nothing wrong with the twins. There's nothing wrong with the twins. I'm talking about Haruhi's dad and certain things that Tamaki says to Haruhi's dad that are, like, not appropriate really cruel and mean. He don't have to say that, you know? He don't have to say that. Tamaki don't have to say that. It helps with cleaning. <laughs> better. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're feeling better, Kendra. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Or everyone will be canceled if they were done. Whatever, Blue, I mean, cancel me then. Like, Twincest is fine. Game of Thrones was super popular and there was a whole lot of incest going on in that. So, miss me. I just don't agree. <laughs> Game of Thrones was a phenomenon for a decade. No one cares about that stuff. Only certain people on Twitter care about that stuff. Better? Oh no, the twins are better. Me? I am death. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry, Kendra. Kendra, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you in your streams. I know you've been feeling sick lately, so you can't even like Animal Cross or anything. Hopefully it, hopefully it will pass at some point, right? Like, it can't be like this the whole time. I'm talking Oren as a whole. Like, I disagree. I disagree, Blue. I just think there's certain people on the internet that take certain... that they call things problematic that aren't really problematic. And that's just, that's just how that is, you know? 12 weeks tomorrow and midwife says it should be done. Well, a midwife would know, so I'm, I choose to trust her. And I'm sending, I'm sending good vibes your way that that is what happens. Okay, sending good vibes your way that that's what happens. Cinnabar's Jim Blaine is quite the odd fellow. He lived on the island since way before the lab was built. Ooh. It lasted 38 with Eliza, though. Eee. I'm so sorry, Kendra. I'm so sorry. Hi there, may I help you? No, I don't want to buy anything. Don't they have X attack? I like it because it raises attack stats in battle. It never hurts to have extra items. You never know what might happen. I also found someone that knows what a seller racers is on Twitch last week. Well, I don't know what a seller racers is, so I'm sorry. I can't fulfill that dream for you. You'll have to depend on the other Twitch streamer. <laughs> Scientists conduct experiments in the burned out building. You know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion. Ooh. One day I will return triumphant. I believe in you. Do you have lots of friends? Linking up with the usual friends is fun, of course, but how about visiting the union room every so often? Who knows, you may end up making new friends. I think it will be worth your time to check the union room. Yeah, well, my friend, I can't, because it is 2022. Pokemon can still learn techniques after canceling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. Yeah, if you didn't figure that out by this point in the game, like, I don't know. I came to visit Cinnabar Gym, but the door is locked tight. There should be a key for it somewhere. Could it be that in that burned out mansion? The gym leader's friend used to live there, they say. Okay, let's heal up. Absolute Hot Wheels. Oh, oh, it's Hot Wheels, okay. No, I never really got into Hot Wheels, so. 
I remember the Hot Wheels commercials though. And I remember being absolutely enamored by like the commercial that had the track where they did the loop-de-loop. -loop. Like I thought that was cool as shit. It is a very odd place to have keys, Kitty, but for some reason this person thinks that they would be there. So wait, that's the Pokemon Mansion. So I need to go. Oh my gosh, stop it. Come here. We study Pokemon extensively every day. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Oh. Let's see, what is this place? Pokemon Lab Meeting Room. Pokemon Lab R&D Room. And this is Pokemon Lab Testing Room. Let's see who's in here. I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. No. Oh well, indeed. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time I study. You have a fossil for me? I do! I have two fossils for you. Yes. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. So hurry and give me that. There we go. I don't think I've seen you in the testing room yet. Uh, you don't even want to know anything about Hot Wheels to enjoy a good Astro series like Accelerators. Oh, very cool. It'll take a little time. Go for a walk. Okay. No, Kendra still doesn't have an exclamation. This winter I tricked Eliza into believing TV runs on bounce power. <gasps> oh my god, Kendra, that is genius. <laughs> That's genius. I'll teach you nifty move. Teach it to a Pokemon and watch fun unfold. It's a move called Metronome. Does that strike your fancy? Nah. Nah. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. It's crammed full of Pokemon books. Yes, I know, but unfortunately I killed my Eevee. An amber pipe. It's a hot game of chicken with chain over it. <laughs> it's true, Kendra. Yeah, so she can jump and watch TV at the same time. Hi, do you have a Venonat? Want to trade it for my Tangela? No. Moisty! Oh my gosh, how are you still awake, my friend? Hello there, do you happen to have a Raichu? No, I'm not trading a Raichu. I don't have one anyways. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric Pokemon. It is impressive, and it's great how they pass out after bouncing. My kid doesn't stop moving for 12 hours. I had to. I, is she, like, at that age, Kendra, where she just has, like, unlimited energy? Long weekend courtesy of Bank Holiday. Oh! is East, So is Easter weekend, like, a bank holiday for you guys over there? We don't really do, um... We don't really do Easter as a, a major holiday here. Okay, well, we're gonna super rod here um, to see what we can get. Not even a nibble. Oh my gosh, something pop up, please. I know there's star use here. That's what we're trying to get. She's always been this non-stop, but it's worse in winter. Oh, I see, I see. We already have a horsey. We don't need that. Don't need you, horsey. Oh, I didn't mean to surf. Get out of there, Caroline. That's what I meant to do. <clears throat> Can't run it off outside because of snow. Oh, I see. So you gotta wait for the snow to melt. We got a horsey already. He's in the PC. I and mean, he's evolved. And everything. Yeah, we have one. We have one. We have a Krabby, too. Of course we get chocolate eggs. I want to learn to surf before I die. Yeah, that would be cool. Learning to surf would be cool. I feel like it would take a lot of work and dedication, and I'm not very athletic. So I don't know if I have that goal, but I do think it's, like, a neat skill. I, like, I like to watch people surf. I think that's really cool. Nope. I keep trying to surf instead of using my rod. I don't want to surf. I want to use my rod. Thank you. Moisty, your stream, by the way, today looked so good with those extra cameras. I know I told you already, but I told you in text 
I didn't tell you with my voice and I want to tell you with my voice. Like, oh my god, it looked so like you look so professional and so cool. Um, I watched a little bit of it, but mostly I was like lurking with it in another tab because, um, you know, first person esque games a lot of time gives me motion sickness, so I couldn't like watch watch. But I was there supporting you, and for the little bit that I did watch, it like it looked real good and slick. <clears throat> Oh, what's this? Another freaking crappy. Alright, by the way... Um, by the way, if y'all are not following Moisty, you absolutely should be. What's wrong with you? Um, he's awesome. He's got a new Minecraft series that he's working on called Arse, which is hilarious. It's about, like, space and stuff. And it's with Wabs, who is another amazing streamer. Um, so yeah. I added them completely randomly midstream for a bit of fun. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. Oh, very cool. Well, they were good. They were good, good stuff. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I know there's star use here. I know there's star use. I don't know why they're not coming up. I mean, we missed that ditto last time. I already messed up and missed a catch. Um, that I could have gotten another Pokemon. So, like, we're trying really hard here. Maybe I'm not using my super rod? Let me make sure I'm using my super rod. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. Thank you. <laughs> it's a really good sound, is it not? Man, Hugo Weaving was just, like, absolutely chewing the scenery. It's because I'm using a good rod. I'm so dumb. Uh, let's register that. That's why it wasn't working. Okay, now I'm gonna get a star you. It's a good sound. Um, Hugo Weaving was absolutely, like, chewing the scenery in that movie. Best part of those movies. Awesome. There we go. Well, Karen, if you just do what you set out to do, maybe it'll work out. Alright. Let's use... Let's use an Ultra Ball. Well, can I just catch you? Yep, I can. Sweet! Uh, mm, yes. Okay, guess what Star Yu's name is gonna be? <laughs> Is this- is this okay, kitty? Is this okay? I hope so, because it's what's happening. <laughs> did you change your hair recently? I thought I noticed last week, but I wasn't sure. No, I did not change my hair. Um, I mean, maybe- maybe I've just gotten better with the colors on the- using the camera on the stream or something. The problem is, is I've got a Logitech, right? I've got a Logitech, and um, Logitech is real dumb and it does not remember, it doesn't remember the settings. So like every time, like I'm constantly, like every time I reboot the computer, I have to like refiddle with all the settings and I don't always do it exactly the same or exactly right. So, you know, that is what it is. And it's annoying, but you know, it's a thing. All right, restored the Pokemons back to full health, fabulous. All right, let's see what I've got here. Yeah, it's like a Logitech bug. It's known. I don't know why they're like that. If you do it with OBS, does it not remember correct? OBS does not remember. And it has to do with Logitech, not OBS. So it's very annoying. Okay. So here we're going to get a Grimer or a Coughing. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I might try to get a new camera when we move because we're gonna have some funds for like redoing certain things in the house and if we have a little bit extra then I might invest in a um, in a new camera. We'll see. I don't know. I took a quiz to see what Pokemon type I am after your quiz and it said fire. Oh, you're a fire type kitty. That's very cool. Okay guys, we need a new name. 
What should we name this? Does anybody have a thousand points to put into the, the thing? Or should we like come up with a name together? For our, for our Uzi baby. Yes, we're gonna give him a nickname. Let's see, we have a Moisty, we have a Kitty. Uber. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the donation, Moisty. I, oh my gosh, that was, that, was that 25? Is that what they said? Oh my gosh, I really, really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Smooch. Oh, I love that. I love that. All caps. And we don't have an all caps name. Let's like keep it all caps, like just like that. M O O C H. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess uh, Kitty is a fire type Skitty. I think that's good. Yes, we found an escape rope. Fabulous. Can't have the camera getting in the way. Think of all the extra time you'd have if you didn't fiddle with the settings each time. I mean, it is what it is, Moisty. A good camera is very expensive. And it's just not... It's not necessary, you know what I mean? Like, it's not necessary. So it's, like, hard to justify buying it. Grimer probably gives excellent smooches and excellent hugs. I'm just saying. Oh, I can't get to that. Because of the rocks. I can't climb over rocks, I guess. Man, I'm getting... I got barely any experience for killing that thing. You can't evolve him to Muck, though. Why not? Why can't I evolve him to Muck? I thought you just leveled him to evolve. Am I wrong? Okay, those are all blocked off. Bigger mon, bigger hugs, that's right, exactly. Aw oh, man, I miss our Vulpix. Rip Haley. You're the bomb. Let's see. Evolve. Uh da da da. Yeah, level 38. Okay. So you must it must have been some comment I made that you were saying that, and I just forget things so fast that. I have no idea. I'm sorry, my friend. Primer's a better smooch than Muck. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely gonna level him up and evolve him. I spend time in between all of these streams, like, leveling everybody up and stuff, so we always have good, like, backup Pokemon so that y'all never have to, like, watch me do boring-ass grinds. Wow, you startled me. I thought you were a ghost. Ooh, maybe I am. You never know. You never know. I could be. <clears throat> Alright, go Lord Oreo. Get him. I wish they would make the guys in this area just a little tiny bit harder. Oh no, I'm paralyzed. Okay. Do I have any paralyzed heals? Well, I have full heals. I guess I can use that if I don't have any... Paralyze heals. Oh, but I do have paralyzed heals. There we go. Oh, not bad. I want to fight. Spark. Two of my yard snakes died. It was sad. Oh no, I'm sorry, kitty. How do you know? What hat? Like, did you find them? Oh, that's sad. I love that having yard snacks because then they eat all the bugs. We've talked about that before. Animals that eat mosquitoes are bros. They are the best friends I've ever. We love them. I found them in the yard. They looked attacked. Aw, poor things. I'm so sorry. Maybe you'll get new yard snakes. Oh, maybe that's the real Oreo right there. It was Oreo, but he just wanted to play with the door. Um, he ran away <laughs> when I opened it. We have so, so many snakes, yeah. 
We don't have very many. We have a lots and lots of green and no lizards. I haven't seen any snacks. But they are welcome. They are welcome in my yard. A regular biodiversity expert. Oh, I don't know. I just hate mosquitoes. <laughs> like, it's literally just that. I hate mosquitoes. And so anything that eats mosquitoes is welcome in my yard. No, Grimer. Ugh. And I don't think any of the rest of these things, they don't do, they don't do any damage. Okay. Come here. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Get this Grimer for me, please. Yay. That's what they all say. <laughs> if I am they all, then yes. Well, you know, Kitty, we have had a lot of struggles with Grimers in this game. Um, they have not been my friends. Grimers and Mucks, they've been annoying AF. Um, so, I don't know, but now we have one. Karen, I missed it, but have you watched the new pirate show that's taken over TikTok? I watched the first three episodes, and I gotta be honest, it didn't grab me. But everyone seems obsessed over um, the certain character plus in a ship with Taika Waititi's character. And Taika Waititi's character doesn't come in until the third episode. So I'm wondering if maybe I just need to keep watching. I, maybe it just like had a really slow start. You know what I mean? And cause like I watched it and it was amusing. Like it wasn't, there was nothing wrong with it, but it didn't like grab me, you know? Like I wasn't, I didn't watch it and think like, oh, this is great. I can't get out this old place is one big puzzle. Okay, well I guess we're fighting then. Yeah, so I watched the first three episodes. It didn't grab me and I was like, oh, finally Taika Waititi, there he is. The person I've been watching for and it was just like it just took so long for him to pop up like by the time he did I was like mm, mm, it's okay it's fine it's not bad but maybe I just need to watch the rest of it and it'll like sweep me away I don't know yeah our flag means death that's the new pirate show our flag means death Taika Waititi is a producer on it and so that's why we watched it and I don't know I just have such a high bar for his stuff because I love what we do in the shadows like love love what we do in the shadows we watched Jojo um, Rabbit excellent um, there's also an older movie that he did called like Wild Beasts or Wild Things anyway it's about this adopted kid also excellent so like everything he makes I just I have like such a high bar for it and I just think that this was just average and so I didn't, you know, I was like, mm. um, I think my expectations were quite high. Live stream it with me. I don't have HBO. <laughs> oh, Kendra, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll see if I can figure out how to stream you some episodes. <laughs> Not the Animu. Jojo Rabbit. I've never seen Jojo. I've never seen Jojo. I know, I'm a fake anime fan. I'm, I'd someone take my weeb card, card away, but I've never seen JoJo. All I know is that, I mean, I've seen the art style. The art style is really like big and bold and campy and um, and it looks like super gay. That's only, and that's it. And that's just based on like what I see on Twitter and what I've seen of the art style. I don't really, I don't really know. That's just what I assume. Okay, we got a zinc. We gotta find the card. Should, it's a fun ride. I've heard, I mean, I've heard. And I've been told that I would like it. Um, just haven't watched it. You know, anything that's like really long running like that, uh, I find very difficult to get interested in starting. You know what I mean? So that's why I've never watched JoJo. And I know that like you can watch, you can just start in the, in the middle. Like they're not, they're only like loosely, the different JoJo's are like only loosely connected. So um, like I know that it's just still like, I don't know. If I'm gonna watch it, I wanna watch all of it. So yeah. Let's see. Oh, another item, good. Okay, I think... Nope. J 
Jojo might be 30 years old. Yeah, Jojo's been around for forever. <laughs> but you can binge two decades worth of content in the span of two weeks. Can I, Blue? Can I? I don't know. I work 40 hours a week, plus I do streaming, and, like, there's always prep work for the streams. Well, most of the time. Most of the time when y'all see the two-hour stream, there's, like, at least two hours. So sometimes sometimes less. For games, there's less. But for the, the podcasty ones, there's usually at least two hours of prep work. Um in it and uh the other th and then sometimes i have prep work for the game ones too because like i like to re refresh my memory on what's going to happen in the game and i'll pre-play some of it now i've actually not been pre-playing much pokemon the um in between stuff the time i spend is leveling up my pokemons but um like for for the uh for the final fantasy 10 streams like i would replay to remember to make sure I didn't miss anything because there's stuff in that game like if you miss it you it's like really hard to go back and things like that so I would do that but I can't get over there okay so I push the button I know that opens up something oh my gosh I'm about to apply another repel Alright. Where's my repels? Super repel, we'll use that. I know, right? Right, kitty? Oh, it opened up this. July 10th, we christened a newly discovered Pokemon, Mew. <gasps> okay. That's that. So many smooches. Oh my gosh, so many smooches. Okay, but now this is closed. Are ones attracting them all. True. Alright, max potion. Let's fight you. This place is like huge. Yeah, it's pretty big. Alright, we're gonna fight the burglar. Oh, remember when we had a nine tails, guys? And a new flamethrower, and it just absolutely destroyed everything. It was the best. Those were good times. Those were pre-Sabrina times. Before she absolutely destroyed all of my favorite Pokemon. Yes, good paralysis. Oh no, don't confuse me. Rude. Rude. Oh, I was listing the things I do. Plus, plus we have, um, oh no, gosh dang it. Um, plus we have four cats and we have, um, a dog and so there's you know there's a lot of responsibilities with that we're also in the process of buying a house I guess you probably don't know much about that blue um you probably haven't heard me talk about that but that's another thing that we're doing um anyway life is freaking busy all of your favorite Pokemon uh, apart from Moisty of course yes I'm very glad we did not take Moisty um in to Sabrina <laughs> very glad because Moisty would be gone um I mean, I already killed Landon, which I felt super, super uh, guilty about. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't kill Moisty, too. <laughs> JoJo can fit your schedule, trust. Maybe someday, Blue, but probably not. There's just too many episodes. Uh, do I want Safeguard? I don't think so. What Safeguard do again? Protects the users from status problems for five turns. Um... No, I definitely want these three. Do I want... Unless it switches. Yeah, I could force some switches with that. I think I want to keep Parish Song. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I saw the new picks. It's almost there. Yeah! Um, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. So one thing that I haven't taken a picture of because it's gross looking is they installed the showers, but they have them filled with water. I assume they're like checking for leaks or whatever. Um, so they look super gross. <laughs> and so I haven't taken a picture. Um, 
but uh but they look really cool oh my god i'm so excited i know that's like a silly thing to be excited about like a new shower but like i'm so excited okay now we're at this part all right always wanted a stand-up shower full of water <laughs> like in the movies so well so this is hopefully going to be a home that we don't ever move from like that's the plan hopefully we won't ever move we'll just stay here for forever um but um but basically it is a standing shower like ours is going to be and then the spare bathroom jeff's bathroom is going to have a tub in it but it's like it's got like the thinnest lip which i'm so excited about so that's going to really help like levi with trying to get in and out the shower you know with his back issues and like when i get old i won't have any issues like that like i'm just really i'm so excited to have that I'm so excited to have that. So we won't have to be like climbing, you know, in and out of the shower when we're old and and, uh, and messed up. Okay, got that iron. Let me put on another repel because that's annoying me. Um, yeah, it's going to be so nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. A secret switch. Yes, I would like to press it. My mentor once lived here. Not anymore. Oh no, I hate fighting stupid Magnemites. I don't think this is going to do much. Because they're electric steel. Yeah, not very effective. It did took half health though and it paralyzed it. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Secret room behind the bookcase trend still makes me want to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I agree, Kitty. I agree. That would be awesome to have a secret room behind a bookcase. Okay, we're just going to try to spark it again. Let's try to spark it. Just like we did the Magnemite. Let's see if it'll take off half of this guy. Oh no, less than half. Boo. But it is paralyzed. Okay. Well, that's not bad. And I know it don't have very good moves. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have soundproof, my friend. You cannot do that to me. because he's basically out of sparks. Let's get uh, Lishy in here. Okay, I think we're pretty close to finishing this little area, so I think we are going to definitely finish it before the end of stream. Lishy, use strength. That's right. Overwhelming. Alright, do I have something to restore? Yes, I have one more ether still. Bedtime. Alright, good night, Moisty. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Even though I know it's like super late for you. <laughs> and have a good um have a good holiday, three day weekend for Easter. I, am I supposed? Mm, am I supposed to go down these? I can't remember if I'm supposed to go down these stairs or not. Oh, well, there's an item that I didn't have, so I guess I was supposed to. Okay. But I remember this part. Boop. Oh, did I choose the wrong one? I think I chose... Oh no, because I already got the item. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped down. Let me look at my notes. And then I'm supposed to go down this way? Because I think this... This door is open now. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember how this puzzle works. You have to like do the switches in a certain way and then you jump down the the thing. Found a protein. Okay. Yep, and then I can come around here, and then I think it's gonna let me down the stairs. If I remember right, that is what happens. Let me repel again. I knew I got those repels for a reason. Oh, no, it's still blocked. Okay. So I think I did not do that second switch correctly. So let's go back and try that. Yeah, this guy. A secret switch, yes. There we go. Okay. So I did... And then I have to get that to open. Okay. I'm like so... <laughs> I so didn't do a good job of remembering this puzzle. Or taking good notes on how to do it. Okay. So let's go back up. So I need this Mew to have eyes closed. And the other Mew to have red eyes. But the only way I can get to the other Mew... Okay. So I need you... Yes. Who wouldn't? That's right. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. No? Okay. Oh my gosh. Secret switch. Yes, I pressed the switch. Who wouldn't? That's right. Alright, now I have to go back up here. Do the other switch. Make it red. Yes. That's fine. And then I jump down. I think I did the combo right. And then I can come around. Okay, let's deploy another repel. That's our last one, in case, unless I have some regular repels, maybe? Okay, anyway, I think the combo is correct now. Then I can come up here, and go this way, oh no it's blocked off again, oh my gosh I cannot remember how to freaking do this. Is there another, is there another statue, is there a statue on this floor that I'm just not seeing? Yes, that's my key. I've never pressed this one. I think you have to. <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. Thank you. Of course, check every floor for a switch. It's not just the second and third floor. Pay attention. All right, I think that's gonna be the right combination where it's going to all be open. Nope! My freaking god. <sighs> Thank you, Kendra. Sender gives me strength. Alright. I don't think I have any more repels. I've gotten confirmation Fantastic Beast 3 is going to sell a lot. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope people aren't that dumb to spend, waste their time and money on that movie. You know it's going to be bad. You know it's going to be bad. There's no way. The second one was god-awful. Like, it was just a mess. It was a mess of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I have no faith. I'm gonna watch Mads and Hannibal first. You should, Kitty, because Hannibal is fantastic. 
and I'm absolutely like feel so bad for Mads that he is now associated with you know such a <laughs> uh, skid mark of a movie. Yeah, they are. They're not gonna make any more. The contract is for two more movies, and they're not gonna make them. Like that should tell you something. They this franchise is just too toxic, and it's not good enough to make up for all of the real life toxicity surrounding it. You know, it's just not. It's just not. Like it is it, it is doomed. Maybe I have to make them all red eyes. A secret switch. Press it. Yes. Okay, so then he's red eyes. We just go we're going to go check again. Cuz every time you're troubleshooting something, you should only change one thing. So that you know if what you changed was the right thing. All right, let's try again. I was looking at gifts the other day and was reminded how bloody it can get, Kitty. Yes. Um, there's definitely parts of Hannibal that I had to watch through my fingers, but like, is good. Like, it's good and it's beautiful. It's but it is very gory. Like, it's very gory, but the gore is, like, aesthetically pleasing. My freaking god. What am I doing wrong, you guys? What am I doing wrong? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have to get to Euphoria first. I get like one week and that's all I can handle. <laughs> it doesn't surprise you with it the way the Seb movie did. Oh yeah, that's true. Hannibal does not surprise you. Like it sneak, it's like, it doesn't sneak up on you. It's like very slow and you can see it coming. Okay, we're gonna go get some more repels, because this is, like, driving me bananas. This shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And hopefully that resets all the switches. So maybe I can just actually, like, look at my notes and follow them correctly. Okay, let's go get some more. I had to step back from the new episode of Bridgerton. That's how bad my tolerance is right now. Well, Kendra, you have a right to have really low tolerance at the moment. Oh, I have some max repels. I didn't even realize that. Yes, okay. Well, we'll use those max repels then. All right, let's find them. Where are they? Max Ether. Max Repel. There we go. The Viscount Who Loved Me is one of the best books in the series. Oh. Okay, so he's still got red eyes. He's got red eyes. Oh, wait, no. I can't get to that one without... Okay. A secret switch. Yes. We're gonna press it. So we can get up there. Okay, he's got gray eyes again. We're gonna give him red eyes. And then we're gonna jump down. And then back here... We're gonna give this one. We've got he's got red eyes, okay. Right? Oh no. Put that repel back on. Okay, so they've all got red eyes. And it's not right. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? 
What am I doing wrong, you guys? Okay, what if we make this one have gray eyes and the other two red? What does that do? Okay, that's open, but these are both closed. Yes, got away safely. Yes, press it. Okay, then we're gonna make the middle one have gray eyes and see what happens. Yeah, we tried all three with red eyes. It didn't work. I can't believe I'm struggling with a Pokemon puzzle. This is silly. I guess I should have, like, pre-played this part, but I didn't. I just wrote down some notes. <laughs> red eyes, black dragon. Yes! We'll summon red eyes, black dragon. Okay, so, I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Okay, let me actually like read my notes from this area. Based on the notes that I wrote, I'm not supposed to touch the switch that's on the first floor, but I am supposed to touch these two. But it, maybe it's like about the order that you do it? I don't know. We're gonna go out, go back in. I don't know if that resets the puzzle or not, but I'm hoping it does. It doesn't seem like it does. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go up here. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna flip this switch. Yes. Who wouldn't? Then we're gonna jump down. Okay. Then we're gonna flip. I thought I could get away with it, but I couldn't. I needed to apply another repel. Alright, then we're gonna flip this switch. Yes. And then we're gonna go down. No! I have no idea. I have no fucking clue. Uh, I know what I haven't tried. I know what I haven't tried. <laughs> it is like you and Nancy Drew. Okay, so we're going to... Oh my gosh. Repels need to last longer. Hello? I know what I haven't tried. Okay, flip the switch. Yes. Come here. We're going to jump off this stupid balcony. Fight this guy. We're here. This is where we should have gone. I was jumping off the wrong stupid balcony. Uh, 
Oh, Electrode versus Electrode. Yeah, I know it's not very effective. Let's actually, let's fix that. Let's get out Lishy. Lord Oreo, come back. I was jumping off the wrong balcony. That's literally all I had to do. I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, no. Yep, I don't think... I'm trying to think, like, what moves have we died to? Almost everything was killed by Psychic. I was trying to think, like, what move has actually been, like, the worst for me. I know for a lot of people, self-destruct is, like, the worst. But so far in this Nuzlocke, Sabrina's Alakazam using Psychic on me is what has destroyed most of my Pokemon. I really didn't have too many problems up until then. Okay, here we go. They do try the best to bring themselves down. All right. I found the Carbos. Now I reach the final floor. Oh, where am I now? I don't know. You're here. Burglar Lewis. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. Why didn't he get hurt? Did I use the wrong move? Well, anyway, let's put let's put Lishy in. Is he so bulky? Lishy not gonna have no problems. There we go. Uh, no. That's fine. Oh yeah, I like it when they miss. I think... Oh, there's one more. Top the fires. That's right. Full restore. Nice. Oh, and now we can go up here. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. Okay, this is the last floor of this place, so I know we're probably running, gonna run a little bit long tonight, but that's just what we're gonna do because I want to finish this. Maybe I hit charge before and that's why Oreo didn't do any damage. I know, but you can still get the hit you can still get the kill in two hits on Magnemites. <clears throat> Alright, but Oreo's health is getting kind of low. So I think we're gonna switch to Lishy for the electrode. <laughs> we can only start gym fires with flamethrower. True. Very true. Oh, now Lishy needs a heal as well. Alright, we're gonna do some potions on these guys before we walk forward. Potion. Is that the only potions I have? 
I don't think I have any lower ones right now. Uh, let's see. I oh, know I have some super potions. Oh, I didn't mean to give that to Caroline, but that's okay. That's okay. Caroline can have a potion. All right. That's good. Let's proceed. Go away, Rattata. I don't know why you attacked me. You should not have. Blizzard! Ooh, that's a good move. I wonder if that's better than Ice Beam. I might have to take a look at that. I'll give that to Lapras instead. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the stats on it. Okay, this is annoying. Come, Max Repels. Do your thing. Oh, I need to organize my stuff. Maybe I'll try to do that in between streams, too. Actually organize my items, because I've got so freaking many. <clears throat> and decide if there's any items that I'm really not going to use that maybe I want to sell. Secret key! Yay, I got it! TM22, solar beam. Okay. Sweet. So now we're going to go... Oh, we don't need to do all that. We just need to do escape rope. Let's see, I have some escape ropes. Yay, we'll use the escape rope. All right, you guys, let's go heal up. We did it, we beat the Pokemon Mansion. So next time, so next week on Artistic License, we are going to be doing more of the Nuzlocke. Oh, I didn't mean to do the PC. We're gonna be doing more of the Nuzlocke um, and we're going to be getting uh, the next gym. We're going to do the Cinnabar gym. And uh, thank you so much, Kendra. Thank you so much. I appreciate the applause. We're going to do the um, Cinnabar gym. And then we're going to go beat the Viridian gym. So we'll see how that goes. Because um, there's really not a lot in between the Cinnabar gym and the Viridian gym. So we're probably just going to beat both. I'll, I'll have to take a look at uh, the Viridian gym's Pokemon. And figure out exactly how I want to do that. Because I don't know. But here we go. Let's switch back. Switch over to webcam only. What's happening? Why can't I switch? There we go. OBS was being weird for a second. All right. I'm going to save to file. All right, so next week, or this coming up Saturday, we are actually gonna be taking a quick break from the um, Interstage Window stream. And we are gonna be not streaming on Saturday. It is um, Easter weekend, and you know there's just too much stuff going on. There's just too much stuff going on. So we're not gonna do all that. We're not gonna do all that, okay. Let me look for somebody to raid. Oh no, Madam MG is on, but she's on a be right back screen. Okay, well if she comes back, I'm gonna give let me, let me give her a few minutes. Let me give her a few minutes. Um, another one of our friends is streaming Pokemon Legends, so if she doesn't come back, then we'll 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 raid into the Pokemon Legends since it's still a Pokemon stream. But we'll give her a few minutes while I'm doing kind of my outro. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, we stream every Thursday and every Saturday right here. Excuse me. Okay, we stream every Thursday and every Saturday right here. Um, except for next Saturday, we're going to skip the stream. And next Thursday, we're going to be doing more of our Pokemon Nuzlocke. Um, you can support me in all of the usual ways. I, you know, I, you can do the uh, donations here on Twitch. You can um, subscribe to the Twitch, all of that good stuff. I also have a YouTube where I put all of my VODs. Um, the social media that I use the most is Twitter, so you can follow me there. And I have a Discord server where you can come hang out. You can get more reliable notifications, and it is a roleplay 
help server. That's like what we're focused on. So if you need any help with your writing or with your role playing um, or other, you know, internet shenanigans, you can come on there and we'll try to help you out. If you want to see anything and everything from me, you can check out my card. Um, that is linked on there too. All right, you guys. Um, she's still on a be right back screen, so we're gonna we're gonna raid into Pug Zoomies because I don't know when she's coming back. She's been like that for a while. Okay, we're gonna raid into Pug Zoomies. He is streaming Pokemon Legends Arceus right now. Loved that game. Beat the heck and heck out of it. It's a good freaking game. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.